We've all gotten used throughout the years to seeing tires as all black circles. Some even with the white band on the side, but it's been almost a century of round black air filled tires. Well, my friends, this is beginning to fade into history. They'll keep being round and they'll probably keep being black, but they won't be filled with air, which is going to have enormous advantage from a safety, stability, and puncture point of view. For years we've seen Michelin at various international salons has been working on this new type of tire that does not have air inside. Instead, it has an internal structure system that does the functions that the common air-filled tire has and with very interesting characteristics from a durability, comfortability, and safety point of view. This tire is called Uptis. What does Uptis mean? It stands for Unique Puncture Proof Tire System. This is not a simple task. We talked about in another video about a subject called resonant. There's things like road noise that when they reach a certain frequency, like bumps, jolts, or vibrations that turn into nothing practically and deform completely. And with these airless tires, that's a very difficult thing to solve. But the good folks over at Michelin did not give up and resolved it. So this tire responds like normal from a suspension point of view, and they don't have to create suspensions fully specialized for it. Meaning, this can replace a regular tire with only benefits to be had, no disadvantages. You are looking at the tire of the future, and we're not talking a far away future. You might get a sense of apprehension when you see this thing and can see right through it. Might get a little bit scared, but this is actually way safer than a regular tire. As you see in the images, this strange web that's forming on the screen, that's what's gonna happen to this. That is going to be the tire directly without the rim. Rim and tire are going to be one thing and configured as such for maximum safety and maximum durability. Like a type of honeycomb or grid pattern that makes it way lighter. One of the craziest or most awesome characteristics of this is we can configure the outside of the tire, the part that is in contact with the asphalt. We can configure it to whatever type of terrain that we're gonna be on. Are we going on mud? We can just 3D print a mud tire. If I'm gonna be on the road, I just print a road tire. Mountains, snow, whatever it is. On top of all that, they're getting made with fully recycled materials. This is what Michelin is doing, and it's experimental, but it's not that far away. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.